Greetings. Today I will talk about Gio de Varenzo, Varenzo, one of the lesser known explorers. Although he established no settlements, he embarked on the earliest recorded exploratory mission of North America. By the time of de Varenzo's expedition, many began to suspect that Columbus had not visited Asia. Instead, he had found an entirely new land. German geographers Martin Waldesmuller and Matthias Ringman published a map in 1507 that depicted the discoveries as part, as part of a new world. They used accounts of the explorer Amerigo Vespucci, who undertook a series of voyages beginning in 1497. The geographers named the new lands America in honor of the explorer who had first postulated that Columbus' discoveries were near of a new world and not Asia. This realization sparked many voyages of discovery searching for a passage through them that would lead to Asia. Before getting started, I would encourage you to subscribe to the Mossy Feet Books YouTube channel for more great content. I also entreat you to visit my website, www.mossyfeetbooks.com. There you will find sample chapters, podcasts, and a slew of content and links to where you can buy my books. While visiting the website, you can subscribe to it and receive email notifications of when I publish a new book or other content like this video and podcast. You can also subscribe to the Mossy Feet Books YouTube channel to ensure you do not miss any of my content. Reports of Columbus's explorations filtered out to the other European nations, sparking France to hire a sailor named Giovanni de Varenzo, Varenzo Vera, I'm sorry, but my Italian is awful, Giovanni de Verrazzano to explore the area between Florida and region known as Terra Nova, the Newfoundland. He was to attempt to find a passage that would lead through the landmass and allow them to sail to Asia. Little is known of de Varenzano's early life other than he was native to Val de Grieve, Italy. At an early age, he began exploring, first to Egypt and then to Syria. In 1508, he traveled to France where he became acquainted with Francis I, King of France. Francis I hired him in 1523. The expedition was supposed to include four ships, however, three of them proved unseaworthy and could not make the journey. The remaining ship, the Daphne, sent off, set sail on January the 17th, 1524. Verrazano and his crew arrived offshore from Cape Fear, North Carolina, sometime around March the 1st, 1524. After doing a bit of exploring, they sighted some natives. He sent a, a boat ashore to trade with them. The surf proved too dangerous to try to land the boat, so one of the sailors tried to swim to shore. He foundered in the surf and would have drowned if the natives had not pulled him out. They stripped him and set him by the fire. At first, he feared they were preparing to eat him. However, they soon convinced him of their good intentions and sent him back on the, to the boat, still offshore. They continued to explore, going as far north as the Hudson River, where they sailed up for some distance. They stayed for about two weeks in the region near Newport, Rhode Island. They visited with the natives and explored. Sailing on, they visited Newfoundland, Newfoundland. Their supplies almost exhausted, they returned to France. Veraz Verrazano would take two more voyages to the New World. On the second voyage in 1527, he went to South America in search of a passage through to the Pacific, which he did not find, of course. His third voyage to the Caribbean ended in disaster. Uh, legend has created two accounts of his death. One version is it that he and his crew landed on an island inhabited by hostile natives who captured him, killed him, and consumed his body. Another relates that the Spanish captured him and executed him for piracy. Um, the next episode will relate the attempt by Lucas Vasquez de Alion to settle South Carolina. The articles in the book contain more detail about the topics discussed. Additionally, there are other topics not included in the podcast. I encourage you to subscribe to both my website, www.mossyfeetbooks.com and the YouTube channel. Just search for Mossy Feet Books on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this podcast.